Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. We've got a match made in heaven coming your way on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Allie, take it away. The Bucks' Chris Middleton has a fan and head coach, Mike Budenholzer. Bud said, quote, he's the ultimate professional, so consistent, and he does it in a lot of different ways. At the same time, he is a great leader. The scoring and the threes, everybody sees, but I like how he's taken on leadership. Brian? Well, he's a key player for them, Allie. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jalen Brown. And he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's White in at point guard. And for the Bucks, At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, this was looking like a great matchup. It still is. But, Brent, it's diminished somewhat because both teams are dealing with injuries. And so with the injury, B.A. comes opportunity. The depth of these teams is going to be on display. And which team is more prepared to give those guys quality minutes to get a win? And here's Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. to Takumbo with the stuff. And just a monster slam from Giannis that time. Tatum against Middleton. And the three off target. Here's Milwaukee. Their last meeting was in Boston where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. <laughs> On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Four on the clock. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Williams grabs the board. Middleton against Tatum. Outside, Brown. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise, it's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. Now, here's Brown, a reliable go to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. Tatum passes to Williams with the seven footer and the basket is good yeah elevating his playmaking skills over time Tatum is a winner who enjoys setting up his teammates Middleton from the outside that shot is off and the defense got away with one there I mean that's the shot he typically makes Tatum passes to White outside Williams Outside Tatum, takes a three, and again, Boston with the triple. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Ana Kumpo against Horford to halt the run. With the putback, controls the rebound and the putback. Ana Kumpo has gotten his second bucket of the game. And Giannis just playing right now with a very highly revved motor. Williams, a screen on Middleton. White for three. No good that time. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Anadokounmpo, outside. Pass to Holiday. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, Holiday focus there, and a good job of scoring despite getting whacked. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year Award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others.
reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood. It's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. Now here's Tatum. The stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game. Great open look there. Well, he's pretty smooth. If Al Horford gets that opportunity, that's a nice, quick catch and shoot. White against Holiday. Lana Kumpo, left side. Nice move. And the layup is up and in. Lana Kumpo has got six. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And yeah, the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. They will tell you he's one of the best perimeter defenders that you're going to find. Boston has gone two for four from range to start things off. Brown passes to Tatum. Off target from outside. The Bucks trail. Pass to Holiday. From outside the arc. Good. And Arda Kumpo gets the assist. Holiday's got the second bucket on the night. And Boston calls time here. Getting ready for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Ana Kumpo. Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Holiday. The Celtics have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Griffin outside. Here's Pritchard. Pure from three-point range. Yeah, that's the kind of passing that opens up the eyes to Blake Griffin's overall talent. Now Connaughton. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Lopez, the screen. Ingles passes to Lopez. And he buries his first look. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And 101 left in the first. Let's the three fly. Bowser can't get it to go. Milwaukee in the lead. Now here's Carter. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Lopez can't hit. Boston has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Connaughton against Brogdon. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hauser. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Lopez. Milwaukee has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Carter. To the inside. Lopez can't hit. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Bucks on top. They lead by one. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this. Continues. Happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out there. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Jalen Brown is out there with Derek White. And it's Muscala in at the five spot. Horford can't hit. And 
here are the Bucks now. Their last game, a win against the Clippers, looking to carry it into this one. You have to respect their ability to stay consistent away from home. Keeping their cool and making quality shots. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. Pass to Muscala. 4-3. Giannis with the rebound. On to Kumpo has got four rebounds now. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. Now here's on to Kumpo. Orford pulls it in. The grab both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. White against Ingles. White. Good. White's got his first basket of the night. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Out to the wing. Horford with a steal. White, the pass to Brown. And he's going for the lob. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. What a pass and what a slam. <laughs> Tatum finishing off a pretty alley-oop. Holiday against White. Back to Anadokounmpo. And the layup falls. Anadokounmpo's gotten four this quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Holiday against White. Pass to Tatum from deep. Holiday grabs the miss. The Bucks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Shoots a fadeaway. Horford pulls it in. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Tatum finds White. Tatum against Ingles. Now here's Tatum. Defense right on him. Shot clock at five. Pass to Muscala. The three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, Brent, for this Milwaukee organization, how big was keeping Giannis? Well, B.A., could you just give me another synonym for massive? I'll take all of them. Because obviously, it, it's all about Giannis. And the title in 2021 helped big time to keep him in Milwaukee. But imagine if they lost him and went back to square one. You just don't replace guys who are this special. Now here's White. 23 points for him last game against Memphis. In total command of the offense. The passing was insane, especially when you consider how many points he put up. White against Holiday. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. The first free throw is good. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. So Boston ends up going with a new group. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. 
There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's eye. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Hauser can't get it to go. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Crowder, a screen on Williams. Williams against Middleton. Banked it in off the glass. And now it's a five-point Milwaukee lead. Staying confident in the paint, Middleton does a good job sinking that one. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Holiday. Outside Brogdon. They set the pick. Right at the free throw line. And it's Boston scoring again. A good job there. Brogdon doesn't need much room. Has it there from the mid-range and knocks it down. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Holiday. Crowder with a screen. Pass to Middleton. Over Williams. Middleton, no good. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Bucks on top, leading by three. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And Kenny, were there any specific teams you looked forward to playing? I mean, any team Shaq was on because you had to be hyped for that, you know, especially when you got Akeem, when they go on head to head. I always look forward to that. Yeah, you, 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 you lucky you had him, Kenny, because you were terrified to come down into the paint. Not true, I wasn't terrified, just a little bit uh, shaky. Now moving on to the Boston Celtics and the close first half they played. With how they're playing, they're leaving points at the line. No aggression on offense. Let me see you attack like I'm going to attack Kenny tonight after the show. Makes me sick to my stomach, Ernie. Uh, could be that egg salad. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, what a contribution. He's been dominating down low. Gotta assume they'll keep feeding him the rock. Oh man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him, and it's Lopez in at the center position. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. Holiday from long range. Rebound Boston. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Williams. Now Horford. Now here's Tatum. Middleton covering. Tatum a screen on Holiday. White for three. No good there. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Next game against the Bulls at United Center. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Here's Allen. Lopez, the screen. And Allen is good for three. Allen's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Count it. 
And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Such an effective shooter. If you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. On the wing, Tatum. Kumpo grabs the board. Kumpo has got rebound number five here tonight. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Greg. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Now here's Brown. Screen by Horford. Releases. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Holiday against White. On the wing, Tatum. Fires from the corner, and he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Tatum's got 11 points. Middleton with it. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Here's Lopez. The shot that time, not on target. He's so good at getting to the rim, maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Pass to Tatum. Williams is screen on Middleton. Tatum passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Crowder, he's checked in for Lopez. Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. A big group substitution here for Boston. Griffin, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. Brogdon's checked in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for White. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Kumpo inside. Defended by Griffin. Kumpo. That's good. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and feels like within eight feet he's going to dunk just about anything. It's Brown on the wing. Six to shoot. Over Ingles. Giannis Kumpo grabs the board. kumpo has got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Crowder. Carter on the wing. Now Kumpo, Defended by Brown. Kumpo, Bam! Now it's a three-point Milwaukee lead. And the league has redefined the rules a bit regarding the gather step. Players getting more leeway. What do you think about that? Well, I think guys B.A. are getting a little more creative in practicing that. They, they will adjust to the rule. That is one thing we've seen through the years with NBA players. And so in the offseason, if you can find a way to take advantage of half a step more in order to gain advantage on a defender, I'm all for it until they change the rule back. And he converts the layup. kupo has got 16 points now. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Here's Pritchard. He's averaging almost five points a game. Pass to Griffin. Left side, Brogdon. Williams, a screen on Connaughton. Six on the shot clock. Austin, no good that time either. The Bucks have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. 
Now here's Crowder. There's the three. And it's Connaughton. That time on the assist from Crowder. He has six. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Brown against Ingles. A shot to stop the drill. He can't hit that time. And so it's Milwaukee finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be right back with you shortly. And now let's take a listen in on head coach Mike Budenholzer. We don't need to be in a hurry to beat them. Let's just go with our defense. Keep moving and keep playing. Poised aggressiveness. Coach Bud asking for energy. Asking his guys to mount an attack. Well, all five guys need to be on the same page. Yes, you need to be active, but you also really need to communicate with one another. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Derek White out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Tatum in a small forward. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Middleton. Well, Middleton, a guy who's just so effective out there. He puts up points. He scores with great efficiency. And we've just seen him in so many clutch moments just come through for this team. Both free throws good from Middleton. And Middleton also capable of preventing points at the other end, Brent. And I think this progression of Middleton having that length and switchability along with experience is helping him build that defensive resume. He'll hit the defensive glass. Just a terrific all-around player. Now here's Tatum. No good there. Off the double clutch. Middleton outside. shot off the mark. Horford with some nice D. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Count it from distance. Tatum's got nine points here in the second half. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. Allen on the wing, guarded by Brogdon. Takes a step back. Back to Lopez. All alone. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. Well, no hesitation whatsoever from Brooke Lopez at that range. Up top, Tatum. And finished by Tatum. Wow. We don't always get to see this from Tatum. Adding the sizzle to the steak. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Carter, a screen on Williams. Pass to Middleton. Carter from outside. The rebound, Celtics. They host the Pistons after this one, and that's a one-game homestand for the club. Tatum passes to Brogdon. Up top, Horford. Tatum against Allen. Just five on the clock. And it's Tatum missing. The Bucks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Middleton outside. And there's a whistle. 
He'll head to the line to shoot two. Robert Williams picks up one. And that knee injury sidelining Chris Middleton in last year's playoffs, Grant. How much did the Bucks miss his impact on the floor? Well, Bia, it was a huge loss. He's their main perimeter scoring threat. That's why his game complements Giannis so perfectly. That free throw good from Middleton. So many teams out there are trying to find their next Chris Middleton. This is a guy that works hard, always ready to drop a shot, will play defense. Such a switchblade at that wing position. Anacumpo has checked in for the Bucks. Holiday comes in for Carter. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Middleton against Tatum. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And look at Tatum getting aggressive inside, firing off his shot while drawing the foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Bucks? Well, they found success off the drive, creating a lot of buckets by getting into the teeth of the defense. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. And he knocks down the first one. And so Tatum nails both of them. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Outside Holiday. Anadokounmpo against Tatum. And Anadokounmpo, here we go. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul of the game. When he was a skinny kid, defenders would always try to get physical with Giannis. That changed pretty quick. Doesn't work so well anymore. Boston trailing. Williams a screen on Middleton. There's Tatum with the three. It's not going to go for him. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Allen the pass to Holiday. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Middleton no good. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Well, you make strides to get back in the ball game, but an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. You have to use better judgment there. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Horford. And Horford powers it home. When you have a big like Horford setting the screen and rolling to the bucket, there's sometimes nothing the D is able to do. Oh, Giannis dumps it home. Well, that's a nice toss up there, so you gotta like the timing, but of course, that's Giannis. He's gonna grab anything. Tatum finds Williams. Here's Horford. To the left wing. Left side, Brogdon. Williams, a screen on Allen. Brogdon, the pass to Williams. Shot clock at three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Anacupo has got rebound number eight now. White against Holiday. Pass to Anacupo. And here's Middleton. Back to Anacupo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Bucks. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And tonight's win will give them an even 40 on the year. And that's an important win. You never like to lose two in a row to a team, especially if you only see them three times. And what a huge performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard and he came up with a ton of rebounds. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. 
White can't hit. Well, I love when guys still use fundamentals to box out and rebound. He cleared his man out effectively on the box and then stepped towards the ball to grab it. And here's Holiday. So this one belongs to the Bucks, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Well, Giannis, some impressive wins. Talk about the momentum that you guys have created. We definitely have a lot of momentum. We've got to keep playing good basketball, but at the end of the day, we've got to keep defending. Uh, you've got to be the one that, that hits first. Both ends of the floor are so important. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.